Hello teachers and welcome back, it's James. You're looking at my Halloween lesson plan for 2020. What a year it's been. Slide two, ask, how are you? Allow your students to have more freedom to answer this question. For example, I am tired, sad, angry, hungry, thirsty, scared, etc. Slide three, ask, what did you do today? Notice the way I said that. You have to enunciate this kind of question. Since this question is in the past tense, it may take your students longer to process because it's in the past tense. So go ahead and give them some prompts such as, I played video games. I stayed home. I went to tennis practice. By the way, to say what did you do today in Japanese is Kyo wa nani o shimashita ka? Slide 4. Ask How many days are in a week? They should answer it like this. There are 7 days in a week. Slide 5. Review the days of the week. Let's say the 7 days of the week. Sunday Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You should get your students to say the days of the week. Then ask, what day is it today? They should say, today is, for example, Monday. Then ask, what day was it yesterday? They should say, yesterday was Sunday. What day will it be tomorrow? They should say, Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Praise your students, then ask, What is your favorite day? You can prompt them by saying, My favorite day is Sunday. Slide 6. Ask, How many months are in a year? They should say, There are 12 months in a year. Then ask, Spell 12. They should say T W E L V E. Excellent. Slide 7. Go over the months of the year. Let's say the 12 months of the year January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. September, October, November, December. Again, get your students to say the months. Then ask, what month is it? They should say, it's October. Then ask, when is your birthday? They should say, my birthday is in February or it's in February or it's on February 21st. Slide 8. Ask, when is Halloween? It's on October 31st. Or allow them to say, it's October 31st or 31. Also ask, what is the date today? They should say, it's Monday. October 12th or it's October 12th. Slide 9. Ask, how do you spell Halloween? They should say H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Something as easy as this kind of question helps your students to learn vocabulary. How do you spell? And then they get to brainstorm the alphabet letters and that is phonics. Slide 10. Go over the seasons. Ask, how many seasons are there? They should say, there are four seasons. Then go over the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, autumn, winter. 
also ask, what season is it? They should say, it's fall or autumn. Slide 11. Ask, how is the weather today? Go over the different weather patterns. Sunny, cloudy, stormy, snowy, rainy, windy. By now, your students should know these weather patterns. They should answer it like this. It's sunny or it's sunny and windy. If you're teaching an evening class, then use the past tense. How was the weather today? They should answer it like this. It was sunny or it was sunny and windy. Slide 12. Teach this new theme. Would you like some? To say that in Japanese is Kore wa ikage desu ka? So that is the equivalent to would you like some? Tell your students that this is the polite way of asking do you want some? Your students may be confused with the word some. The best word the best way to teach this word is to give them some examples. So first of all when I first of all when I teach my students the word some I just first of all the way I teach First of all, when I teach my students the word some, when I teach the word some to my students, I just say some imi wa ikutsu ka desu. Kazue yurarenai mono desu. It is a word for uncountable things. Anyway, get them to answer it like this. Yes, please. Hai, onegaishimasu. Hai, itadakimasu. Or, no thank you. Ie, kekko desu. Slide 13. Ask, would you like some pizza? Would you like some soup? Would you like some sushi? Would you like some mushrooms? Would you like some pumpkin? Would you like some corn? Would you like some green peppers? They should answer it like this. Yes, please. Or no, thank you. Then you can throw in some other things. If you're familiar with Japanese food, ask, would you like some natto? They may say yes please or no thank you. Would you like some umeboshi? Yes please or no thank you. At the end of the month, you should test your students. Get them to ask you, would you like some whatever they want. But they have to remember how to ask politely. Slide 14. Halloween true or false? One. Ghosts say boo. True or false? True, of course. But in Japanese, ghosts say wa. Number two, Dracula drinks tomato juice. <laughs> we know that's false. Three, a Halloween cat is white. False. Four, a face on a pumpkin is called a James O' Lantern. False. Five, a witch is friendly. False. Six, a werewolf is a man dog. False. Seven, a mummy is from America. False. Eight, trick or treat is what you say to get candy. True. Nine, a bat flies in the day. False. This is a great exercise for your students to brainstorm English vocabulary. Slide 15. Some words associated with Halloween. I just call it Halloween things. So you can tell your students Halloween mono or Halloween kanki aru mono. That means things associated with Halloween. Ask, what's this? They may say the first one in katakana English, but you, as the teacher, should take the lead. Get them to repeat after you. What's this? Frankenstein. What's this? Mummy. Or the mummy. That is Mida in Japanese. What's this? A bat. What's this? A skeleton. What are they wearing? Kono fuku wa? Kono kakko wa? 
costumes. Costumes is isho in Japanese, okay? And trick or treat. Don't say it in katakana English. They should know. <laughs> What's this? Candy or treats. What's this? A haunted house. That is obakeyashiki. What's this? A werewolf. Okami otoko. What's this? A jack o' lantern. Right, not a James o' lantern. <laughs> What's this? A ghost. What's this? A witch. And what's this? Who's he? Dracula. Don't say a Dracula. Say Dracula. Or a vampire. For a simple test at the end of the month, you can arrange all the words and pictures and then have your students draw a line from the word to the correct picture. Or you can make up some questions for example, what is half robot and half zombie? Frankenstein, slide 16, ask, what is he or she dressed as? The way I translate this into Japanese is, kare wa to kanojo wa donna kakko desu ka? Donna isho or dono yonna isho desu ka? Isho means costume. And you want your students to answer it like this. He or she is dressed as... Kare wa... Kanojo wa... Nene nene no yona kakko shiteimasu. So if you say... Nani nani... Something something... Isho no yona... Or kakko no yona... That is dressed as... So I would just take the lead. What is he dressed as. I'm looking at the garbage can. It's a he. So, he is dressed as a garbage can. Okay, a garbage can is gomi bako. <laughs> Next, what is he dressed as? It's a he. He is dressed as a skeleton. Very good. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a robot. Excellent. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a monster. Next, again he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a cowboy. Excellent. What is he dressed as? That's a he. He is dressed as a vampire. Or you can say he is dressed as Dracula. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He's dressed as as a bear. What is he dressed as? It's a he. He is dressed as an alien. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a ghost. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a mummy. Or you can say the mummy. I just wrote a mummy. Next, it's a she. What is she dressed as? She is dressed as a cat. Meow. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a werewolf. Next, it's a she. <laughs> what is she dressed as? She is dressed as a superhero. Next, what is he dressed as? 
he is dressed as the devil. Next, it's a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a muscle man. That is kiniku man. Next, it's a she. What is she dressed as? She is dressed as a clown. Next is a she. What is she dressed as? She is dressed as a witch. And last is a he. What is he dressed as? He is dressed as a ninja. It's a good idea to put on a mask and ask them what is he, meaning you, are dressed as. The other day I put on a Jason mask from Friday the 13th and I, and I asked, what am I dressed as? What is he dressed as? And they just gave me a, a puzzled look. So I said, he, I am dressed as, he is dressed as Jason. No comment. Slide 17, action words. For this month, I didn't put out many action words. Just six. Scratch, that is hikake. Smile, niko niko suru. Share. Lift, that is mochi agaru. Hide, that is kakureru. Draw, that is eokaku. I would get your students to pantomime these words. Or you can do Simon Says at the end of the, for a test for a test at the end of the month. Hide all the words and call out randomly. For example, scratch. They should be doing the scratch motion. Do this for each one. Slide 18. Halloween matching game. Directions. Draw a line from the picture to the matching word. Slide 19. Enter. If you dare, search the maze to find the lost cat. Slide 20. This worksheet might be a little difficult for some students. This is an optional worksheet. You can ask, when is Halloween? Name two things that can fly. So when you're teaching name two things to Japanese students, you're going to say, can you tell me two things that can fly? Miss a turn. Name two Halloween animals. Again, can you tell me two Halloween animals? Name a Halloween event. Name three Halloween colors. Spell Halloween out loud. Go back three spaces. How many Harry Potter books are there? Move forward to the cauldron. Tell them that a cauldron is a witch's pot. What do you say to get candy? What is the color of a ghost? What does a witch ride? Name two things you eat at Halloween. What does a ghost say? Get a candy from your teacher. Name three things to put in a brew. Tell them that a brew is a witch's soup. And that is the end of this lesson plan. Thank you very much and happy Halloween everyone.